Hello, and welcome to another amazing episode of TMC, where we are here to help you take your relationship from from surviving surviving to thriving. If this is your first time joining us, go ahead and subscribe. Click the like button and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time we upload a video. Today on TMC, we're going to do what we want to call the New Year Kickstart to a Successful Life. to do babe we were talking and we wanted to share what we do we we didn't have a name that we called it or anything like that so we had to think of something like what do we call it this is how we kick start right? yeah uh-huh. that's what you said this is how we kick start uh-huh. our year so typically for us this is on new year's eve we're at home we're reflecting we're waiting for the fireworks and all of that to happen and all the celebration for midnight right. but we start off by thinking about the year before we talk about things we've accomplished, things that we haven't accomplished, wow. things that we want to do in the upcoming year. We make that, you know, time a time that we prepare for the year that is to come, but we look back on the year that has happened so that we can have gratitude for what we've done and what we've been through, what we've accomplished, where we've been and where we are now. So we always do this and we didn't, we didn't have a name for it, but then we decided to come up with one to share with the TMC listeners. So we're calling it the new year kickstart. Absolutely. I was reading something and it was talking about, you know, when you're flying, what the article was saying, it said an airplane, an airplane spends about 90, 95% of the time, the pilot is adjusting because of the wind, because of the turbulence, because of all the different things that's going on. You know, the New Year's resolution mm-hmm. is like once a year, that's that's when we want to focus on, you know, our lives and where our lives is headed. But I, I want to challenge you this year. I want to yeah. challenge you this, this year to do something different. I want you to begin to do this more than a year. And if you're doing this more than a year, I mean, hats off to you, you're on the right track. But I want everybody, because here's the thing. If you spend from January to the next January in adjustments, I mean, start from where you are. I mean, right now, if you're doing once a year, uh, try try to go from once a year to once a month. And if you're doing once a month, go from once a month to once a week. If you don't once a week, go to once a week to once a day, doing it every day. And I believe you're doing it every day. Now you're on that track where you're making those minor adjustments because here it is. Let's be honest about it. Life happens. Things happen in our life and we have to be prepared and we have to be able to maneuver. But sometimes life happens, storms happen in our life where we're going in one direction, but then the storms of life knock us off course. And here we are going down the wrong way in the wrong direction. And you don't want to wait 12 months before you realize, wow, I'm in the wrong direction. Absolutely. And when we think about this in regards to relationships, when you think about it in regards to your marriage, your parenting, your finances, your children, you don't want to let something go in the wrong direction for 12 months. So, you know, we make resolutions and at the beginning of the year, we're going to do this better. We're going to try this. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And then you're going to wait till the next year to you know, okay, that didn't work. It fell off in March. So let's try again. But if you continue to review those things and think about it over and over and make adjustments, then you will see better results. That's definitely what we have experienced that making minor adjustments, almost like you said with the plane, making adjustments throughout the year. Sometimes you may be able to go on a course of action for three or four months, maybe six months, but then there may be something else when it's in regards to your finances or your saving or your relationship and your communication quality time, spending time together, you may have to adjust that because of whatever is going on in life. So when we're constantly making those adjustments, we'll see better results throughout the year in our life instead of waiting until, oh, it didn't work out. Uh, We still not communicating well. Uh, The kids, I'm still not being able to communicate with them well. Uh Um, My finances are still out of whack. So uh, I'll just wait till next year and then I'll start over again. Uh No, we, if we make those little minor adjustments, even if you fall off, make the adjustment and start again even if you don't have any adjustments i mean you still can celebrate like wow i'm on the right track Mm -hmm. i'm doing the right thing and we can all find gratitude even in everything and everything off course 
on the course, we can find gratitude in that. So we're going to talk about three R's that we want to discuss on today with you. What's the first R? The first R is to reflect and really celebrating those moments and remembering all of the wins and remembering where we started, where we are and where we want to go. Just Absolutely. talking about those things. Absolutely. And we started to do this just one New Year's Eve and now it's become a pattern. And so it's almost like on the 31st, our mind gets in that mindset and not for the preparation of making a resolution. Like Cedric said, it's just that for us, that reflection is a moment of gratitude to thank God for all that we've come through, for all that God has brought us through, for everything that he's given us, for every blessing, for every trial, for every tribulation, because we're looking at December 31st and we're like, I'm here. We're much better than we were, or we got better at this. We got better at that. Or we have more of this. We have more of that. We've had more time together. We've grown. Our communication is better. Whatever it is, it's celebrating and having gratitude in that moment. So reflecting on all the things, celebrating and having a moment. I think one of the things that it done for me, you know, as far as the reflecting and one of the things I do do at the end of the year, I'm really reflecting because even in what we're doing, we have ministry, we have businesses and all these different things going on. And sometimes we like, you know, we're we're so task oriented, oriented. moving different things, trying to get this done. And then you have problems come. And when the problems come, you're solving problems Mm -hmm. and all these different things. And oftentimes you don't have that stopping point where you really get that moment to reflect, to say, wow. Wow, we we came we came this far. Mm-hmm. You're going from uh, last year to this year, really reflecting. I mean, it was really it was really exciting to me, and and it gives me that boost. Like, wow, we're on the right track. Mm-hmm. I mean, we, you know, it, you're taking one day at a time, one year at a time. It's like we're getting closer and we're getting closer. I mean, no matter how big the goal is, no matter how small it is or whatever yeah. your goal is, it's like making it moving, 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 and moving closer to it. I mean, so finding that gratitude and what what you're doing. So so definitely, definitely want, want to reflect. And I really like the fact that we started doing it together because now it's like the closer it gets to the end of the year, I, I mean, it just comes in my heart. And I just feel this uh, every day after Christmas, you want to cry because I'm thinking about how good God has been and where we wow. are in our marriage and in our relationship. And yeah. we're talking and I, I think we us talking about how we've grown as a couple. I think that's great for couples to do. Sit down and reflect on how you've grown. Wow. You may not be in your marriage, in your relationship You may not have all 99 things together, but if you are doing three things better as a couple, if you're doing three things better as a unit, as a family, celebrate that, have gratitude for that. We're now communicating better. You know, we might still have to have our timeouts, but we're communicating more. We're communicating better. We're spending more time together. It's important to do that in your relationship, in your marriage. Take that time to reflect and have gratitude for where you are now and how far you come. Yeah, absolutely. So the first thing is reflection. What's number two? And number two is to resolve. Mm. Yeah, we want to resolve. We want to resolve to make a decision on where we are going from here. We want to make decisions on once we've reflected, we've talked about, we've had gratitude, we've we shared tears, we've cried, we've laughed, we've joy about what God has done and what is better in our lives, how far we've come. Then we start to think about what are the things that we're going to focus on next year. I even remember this New Year's, you was like, hey, babe, what's going to be your focus next year? What's going to be your focus? And we just started talking. And even this morning, we were talking about our focuses and what we're going to be focusing on for the remainder of 2022. And we're thinking about where we're focusing. And of course, we'll continue to have these meetings throughout the year, these times and these moments where we look at it because the focus may shift, the focus may change, it may need to be adjusted, but we have resolved that there are certain things that we are going to do differently. So as a couple, as a family, as individuals, we make decisions on what we're going to do in the year to come. Yeah, and, and what resolving does for me uh, is, is a few questions I ask. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have to, you know, just asking these questions like, what what do you really want, or, or well, what's God's desire 
for your life and really understanding, understanding the purpose, understanding the mission and understanding the vision for your life and really being focused on that. So the thing about it, what I do with resolving, resolving for me is those moments where, you know, I'm tying up loose ends. Yeah. It's like, I have those certain issues that happen. It's like, okay, uh, I was planning on being here by this this month or or by june i was planning on being here okay i didn't get there so it's like okay what went wrong and how can i make it better what can i do to make this better what can i do i mean uh, maybe i i i I set the goal too high high. or maybe i got sidetracked with something else but it's like resolving those issues so it won't repeat over and over again because here's the thing when you don't resolve it if it's a bad habit, if it's a misfocus or misalignment, if you don't figure out, if you don't ask that question, why? I mean, it's a strong chance that it's going to happen over and over and over again. And sometimes this would happen. I mean, early on in my life, I mean, these are the type of things that happened when I wasn't resolving issues. I mean, it's like the same issues kept happening kept up, yeah. over and over again and find myself, you know, on this merry-go-round where it's like <laughs> I'm finding myself going in circles, you know, doing the same thing over and over again and over and over again, talking about how I'm going to make this right. I'm going to fix this. And then the next year come and I'm talking about I'm going to fix it. Next year come, I'm talking about I'm going to fix it. And it's like, I can't move on to the next thing because I'm still dealing with this one thing. So we have to find a point and find a moment in our life to ask the question, how can I resolve this issue? Where am I going wrong? Mm -hmm. And how can I make this right? I love that. That's true. That's so good. And if I think about it in regards to our marriage and our relationship, like Mm -hmm. what is going wrong or what is not working well or what do we need to work at and how do we resolve it like if it's communication what do we do to make to communicate better if it's our finances how, let's make a plan so that we can get better if Absolutely. it's our uh, quality time spending time together if it's what we do for each other how we love each other how we serve each other whatever it is how do we do we look at this and say where we are and then how do we resolve this? What do we do moving forward? We make a strong determination on what we're going to do moving forward to make this better. Because it's like, we've talked about this so many times before, but there's so many principles that we discuss and that we learn and that we apply to our lives that can be used in many, many facets of our lives. So you can use this in your business, in your family, in your relationship, in your finances, with your kids, with your parents and everything. You can look at, you know, how am I communicating with the kids how am I disciplining the kids what is our relationship like and you look at those things and wherever you are doing good you good you glad you celebrate keep it going you know we resolve to stay keep doing it this way because this is working and if it's not working then we're going to come up with a solution and then we'll set another resolve because now we're moving forward in a different direction and this is what we're going to do yeah I like yeah. that. I love it. Yeah, absolutely. And and, and what we're going to do towards the end, I, we have five questions that we want to give you some mm-hmm. uh, five questions to reflect on already. We talked about the reflect. Mm-hmm. We talked about resolve. Mm-hmm. Now, what's the number three? Num- the third R is to refocus. Wow. To refocus. Where is your attention going? What are you going to focus on? Focus is... It's a strong intentionality. You're zoomed in on something. You ever notice when you're focusing on something, you draw in closer to it. So it's like determining we're going to refocus whatever issues we've had. Let's refocus this. What are we going to hone into this time? If we're doing great with communication, if we're doing great with our finances, then what are we focusing on what do we need to refocus if we talk about you said issues if we talk about some of the issues maybe we're not doing good with our finances maybe we're not doing good with spending time together maybe we're not doing good with um, communicating whatever it is how do we refocus this thing so refocusing is to shift your focus from where it's been to what is next and how do we target that right I, i i remember times where it's a certain vehicle 
Mm-hmm. And it seems like this yep. vehicle, you go to the lot and you finally get, you see this vehicle see that it. you want mm-hmm. and you see this vehicle. And when you see this vehicle, here's the time it's like, now it's everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> One of the things we have to really be careful with what we're focusing on, because what you're focusing on most of the time is what you're going to get. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. if you're focusing on negativity, negativity, negativity mm-hmm. is probably what you're going to get. If you're focusing on positive, positive environment, positivity is probably what you're going to get. So we really have to pay attention to, you know, what, what, what we're focusing on and making sure we're refocusing in the right direction. It's like setting ourselves up, setting up the environment for success, setting up the environment for greatness, setting up the environment for your life, setting up the environment for your marriage. It's like going, it's like having a get together. Uh, we just recently came from the holiday season. And you walk in the house, you. everybody mm-hmm. knows the holiday season because you have the decoration. You know, there's some people yard is all nice and the house and you have Music. stockings and mm-hmm. you have all these different things and the environment is set up for the occasion. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's the same thing we want to do in our lives is set up. I mean, 2022, 2022, I believe it's going to be a great year for you. I believe 2022, there's great things in store for you. But what I want you to do, I want you to focus on it. The last year, that's, that's, that's people that have suffered loss. Mm-hmm. That's people that have suffered trauma. I mean, we're still dealing with COVID-19, but yet and still, no matter what happened, I mean, if you lost a loved one, I mean, somebody that was significant to your life, I mean, here's a moment, here's a time to say, you know what? I got to refocus. I got to refocus. Life happened, but I got to refocus and I got to get back on track. I think, you know, you and I were talking about this, babe. And when we were talking, we were talking about the times that we've had to refocus on certain things. When we we make adjustments in our lives and maybe our focus at one point was strictly ministry. You know, we're working in the ministry, working in the ministry. That's the focus. Always made our marriage a focal point. But in the last two years, I think we even focused on us and our quality time. So we've always made it a point to spend time together. But I would say in 2020, we refocused that and we started spending quality time together, not just spending time together. So in 2022, right now, then our resolve and our refocus is us saying, hey, we've we've done good here. We're spending quality, not just spending time like we're in the same room together. We're at the same house. We're spending quality time together. Yeah, like turn off the cell phones. And right. And there. we're communicating yeah. with each other. And we're, we talk, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking. So th- for us, then it's like, what in what other areas do we need to re- refocus on? And what other areas do we need to share? We're going to keep that quality time yeah. as an element in our lives, but there's still some other areas that have to be taken care of. So some of that focus has to be shifted. It has to be refocused somewhere else so that we can accomplish the things that we want to accomplish in our lives, personally, individually, collectively, yeah. ministry, all of those things. So it's very important to think about. And, and when you say refocus, it doesn't mean like your attention just goes all the way off of this. It just means that this right here has its set time. And now this is what we're on target is. This is what we're intentional about. Yeah. Reflect, resolve, refocus. You have any closing words? Um, I just encourage everyone, you know, as all the TMC listeners, I encourage you, listen, 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 and apply these things to your life. I promise you everything that we've talked about today, reflecting, to resolve, to refocus, you can use this in every area of your life. TMC is about family. It's about relationship. It's about marriage. It's about you as an individual lifestyle. Exactly. So everything that we share, we use it in multiple facets. We don't look at it and just say, how can I refocus in my marriage? How can, no, we refocus. These three things help us in every area. As a single, exactly. Any single listener, I want you to focus on 
you. Yes, not your partner. I want you to work not on you. I don't mm-hmm. want you to, you know, this is not about trying to fix somebody else. This is about making yourself better to make the relationship better. This is about going from surviving to thriving. This is about being your best you. You're waking up being the best husband you can be, waking up being the best wife you can be, and waking up being the best father or the best mother you can be, or waking up being the best coworker you can be. This is all about standing up and saying, you know what, this year, I'm going to give my best. I'm going to give my best to God. I'm going to give my best to my family. I'm going to give my best to my my, my business or whatever you do, just saying, I am giving my best this year. Mm -hmm. So I want you to, again, reflect, resolve, and I want you to refocus. When you're going through this, there's five questions I want you to ask yourself. The first question is, what is it that you really want? The next question is, what are you doing really well that will help you get there? What is it that you're doing well in your life that will help you accomplish what you want? And the next question is, what are you not doing well that is preventing you from getting there? And the next question is, what will you do differently tomorrow that will help you navigate these challenges? And the fifth question is, and this is very key question, where do you need help at? There's oftentimes there's help all around us. Mm-hmm. There's people, there's people that Speech love out. you. They're just waiting on you to ask for help. For help. Mm-hmm. So just, just ask for help. You'll be surprised who will help you on your journey. We pray that you take these tips, that you take these questions and apply them to your life and show up better and kickstart your 2022 off well. Absolutely. So we want to thank you for joining us today on TMC. If this is your first time listening, we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time we upload a video. And leave a big thumbs up. And if you're listening on iTunes, rate the podcast and leave a review. That helps us get the word out. We also want to invite you to head on over to our leadership podcast, Lead to Greatness, where my husband is interviewing entrepreneurs and great leaders from around the world every week. So we want to thank you for joining us today on TMC. Looking forward to hanging out with you again on next week as we continue to help you take your relationship from from surviving surviving to thriving. thriving. Bye. Bye. See See you next week. week.